use this purple cabbage, Chris. Yep. Let's have a hot dog today. Mm -hmm. All right, y'all. Hey, it's Chris and Tammy with Collard Valley Cooks. And today, we're making some delicious hot dogs in the air fryer. They look just like they're grilled. Me and Chris love them in the air fryer. We showed Nana and Papa when we went home and they loved them too. So we're gonna make some coleslaw and put our hot dogs in the air fryer, make our coleslaw while we're waiting on those. So if y'all just come on over here to the air fryer, I am going to put four hot dogs in here. I got these, these are Oscar Mayer Angus Jumbos and we're just gonna line them up in here and they'll roll around. Now, if you want them to um, brown on both sides, you can shake them a little bit during the cooking time. Yeah. And you can cook them as long as you want if you want them browner. Yeah, this is the only thing that Mama feels real confident with in the air fryer. <laughs> yeah, she loves to make hot dogs. She can His make mama. hot dogs, yeah. All right, so I'm gonna show you how to do it. You'll never grill them again, for real, if you learn how to make them in the air fryer because they're just as good as when they're grilled. All right? So we're gonna put them down here in the air fryer. I keep my air fryer over here by itself and I'm gonna press the meat because it's 400 degrees at six minutes, okay? We may cook them a few more extra minutes, but we'll go ahead and turn them on. Now I've got regular cabbage, but this is my oldest cabbage. So I'm actually gonna make our coleslaw out of purple cabbage today, which is not nor what I normally do but we're gonna do it today. Something different. All right, so I'm just gonna take this grater right here and grate my cabbage. And it only takes a minute to grate a little cabbage for a hot dog. A lot of people don't wanna fool with it, but can I say there's nothing to it? Nothing to it. Especially if you're just making a few. I think I'm gonna get my glove out so I can really do a good job. It'll turn it purple but I throw these gloves in the wash machine. These are gloves that keep you from getting cut, and boy, do they work well. So like if you're doing a lot of prep work or you're using a grater or a mandolin, it's really smart to wear one. And they're really not, uh, not expensive. They're only about $10, I think. And I've worn these over and over and threw them in the wash machine. So tell us what you like to put in your slaw. Because uh, when we're having a hot dog, we like to put some sweet pickles in it because we like sweet pickle relish. Yep, slaw is one of those things you can make all kind of ways, isn't it? Oh yeah. And the sweet pickle relish has the vinegar in there. A lot of people say, why don't you add vinegar? Uh, because the pickle juice has vinegar all in it, you know, and so it gets the vinegar flavor from the pickles. But now if you like a lot of vinegar, you could add extra. See how I can just use my hand and just get all the cabbage? Now Chris's mama loves to make slaw too, don't she Chris? Oh yeah. She's the slaw queen of the family. Yep. All right, so I'm gonna use some blue plate mayonnaise. Some good old sweet dill relish. And I don't double dip anything, of course. And a little pepper. Now there's a lot of salt in the mayonnaise, so I never put salt in my slaw, but I do put pepper. Your mama put something in hers the other day. I was surprised about. I can't remember what it was. Was it lemon juice or something? No, she lemon? don't ever use lemon juice. Huh. I think it may have been um, dill pickle juice. And Chris don't like dill pickles, so I don't ever put dill in I eat in dill it. pickles. When? Anytime. I don't eat pickles, but I would eat dill pickle relish and whatever. You would? Because yeah, sure. he hates a dill pickle on his hot dog, I mean on his, um, Hamburgers, that's the first thing. He hands me his hamburger when we go through the drive-thru. I don't eat pickles. It says, take the pickles off of it. Mm -hmm. 
Except I don't say it like I've that. I've never seen him. I say it real nice. Right. <laughs> I have never seen him eat a dill pickle, so I don't know what he's talking about. Well, I'll eat dill pickle relish in tuna or dill pickle relish in slaw or anything like that. I don't. It don't matter to me about the... I just don't like pickles. Okay. Y'all don't send me no pickles. Ooh. Rhonda and Butch sent me some pickles, and I love them. They did send us pickles, didn't they? I shouldn't have said that, should I? Y'all can send me pickles. And you really need to use the mayonnaise you like, because you can really taste the mayonnaise in slaw. Mm -hmm. Okay? I think I might put a little bit of vinegar in it today. Let's do it. I really do. A little zing. It needs something. You think that cabbage tastes different than green cabbage? A little bit. Thinking. Yeah, I maybe think. that's why. Because a lot of people ask if the cabbage tastes different. Yeah, it does taste a little different. I hear them hot dogs. Listen to them. We're gonna turn them over. Let me show them to you. Well, let me get something like a fork. Looks like we're rolling them around. I am rolling them around, but I want them to get brown on the other side real quick. Mm -hmm. All right, so you can tell that they're getting brown. Good. Mm -hmm. yeah. This one rolled way over there. Yeah. And so I'm gonna put them back in there and cook them a little bit longer. So you're gonna All cook right. them six more minutes? A few more minutes oh, just at few. 400. I just like that setting because it automatically puts it on 400 degrees. Mm -hmm. If you don't have that setting, it's 400 degrees, okay? We cooked them six minutes. Now I shook them a little bit, put them back in there, and I put it back on that setting, 400 at six minutes. But we may take them out a little early. May or may not. Let's add just a little bit of vinegar to our slaw. This is apple cider. Uh, just apple cider vinegar, and it's not the, what do you call that kind you used to drink? I didn't oh, know. the, uh... Oh, that natural kind. It's raw. It's got the, yeah. You know, it's got live cultures in it. Chris used to drink that every day. He thought it was going to make him Superman. What? Yeah. Superman? Well, you drank it for your health, I know, because it yeah. sure don't taste good. It yeah, helped my blood pressure. I quit drinking it because it messed my teeth up. I felt like it was oh. eating up my teeth. It probably was. It's <laughs> might, it might be why your teeth are honeycombed. Uh, maybe. I don't you know. never know. Yeah is uh, throw them in the air fryer with the wieners. The air fryer really toasts bread quick. So we're gonna throw these over here in the air fryer. With the wieners. And then it's a wrap, we're gonna be done. We just make our hot dogs on the plate. If you don't have one of these plastic food wrap things, I'm gonna tell you, they're worth every penny you pay. It, I despise, and I'm not kidding, getting plastic wrap out of those small rolls. It drives me crazy. But I love this thing, because you can just lay your food down. It's big, it's wide, it's easy to handle. And look, I can wrap up my stuff and stretch it good, put it around there, it's so nice. And they last forever. Yeah, but this lower. thing will last me well over a year. What is it? 3,000 square feet? Easier. Now it's big, so I just keep it on top of the refrigerator. And that way it's convenient, because if you buy one and you don't put it where it's convenient, then you won't use it. Nope. So I just put it right up there. Please and thank you. All right, I'm going to go get me. Well, I can, I can just use a plate. I'm going to make it look official. I'm going to show you how pretty the hot dogs are. I don't know what happened to my fork. Get me another one. Look how pretty they are, y'all. Yeah. Nice and brown, just like you grilled them. Instant gratification. That's why I like the air fryer. It's like instant. And I'm Papa love it to make hot dogs. All right. So now we're just going to grab our Toasted, see that's good and toasty. It's got a crunch already. Put our hot dogs in here. Did you get a really good picture of those dogs, Daddy? Mm -hmm. Aren't they pretty? 
I want this brown one. That's mine. It's as good looking as you can make a hot dog right there. Yep. All right, let me get another plate because I made that one dirty. I'll just make your plate. How's that? Would you like some chips and dip? No. No? I mean, no, I don't, I might eat some chips, but I don't want any dip. I've got some French onion dip, and he don't want any. Okay, which kind of chips do you want, Daddy? The... Plastic? Or the... No, those other ones. Crunchy ones? Yeah, those crunchy ones. Good. He likes, uh, this is kettle chips. Yeah, those are good. That's the first time we bought the Lay's kettle chips, isn't it? Yeah, they're really delicious. Mm -hmm. Lay's knows how to do potatoes. Mm -hmm. That's nice Here's him some chips. Lays don't mess around. All right, you want ketchup and mustard? Mm -hmm. So. It's working out pretty good. Ketchup. So if all you ever make on the grill is hot dogs, you can get an air fryer. You never have to buy any charcoal again or anything. Get all messy outside. with the grill. Just make it right in the house. Or if you hadn't been using your air fryer, this is where you start, right here. Oh, we love them. Air Fryer 101. Right. Air fryers are great for grandkids and nieces and nephews and kids mm -hmm. because they turn off. Mm -hmm. You don't have to worry about an air fryer staying on or forgetting to turn it off. They all turn off. That's true. And that's one thing I like about the air fryer. Um, for kids to heat up their pizza rolls and all those junky things kids eat. Their corn dogs. Corn dogs and their chicken nuggets. I'm telling you, air fryers are great. And that way mama don't have to worry about them leaving the oven on if they warm up something while she's still at work. Or daddy. Or grandmother, because sometimes grandmothers forget to turn off the oven. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like me. I've been known to do it, had my careers. Every time she cooks. <laughs> I don't think so. <laughs> All right, that's it, y'all. Mm -hmm. A good old hot dog. Can I take a bite of your hot dog, Chris, or do you want to take no, a bite? You want to take a bite? No, you can. All right, they ain't seen you in a few days. Okay. I promise he's still alive. Okay. Y'all hear him talking. this one. Well, she took my hot dog. She mm. liked it so much. That is absolutely delicious. Y'all have a wonderful day. Let me finish chewing up my food. Okay. Y'all have a wonderful day and we thank you for watching Collard Valley Cooks, where we cook like Mama did and Chris's Mama, Nana did. And y'all listen to these crunchy chips.